Right, let's take a look at some other news from different parts of the country. Let's go to the central region in particular, where Carol Nderi is. She's our reporter there. Now, Carol, something interesting is going on in Embu, isn't there? The Council of Elders are actually marshalling together to collect signatures. Is that correct? Thank you very much, Nancy Kashungira. Yes, indeed, that is what is happening in Embu County. The Council of Elders that goes by the name Nyange and Diriri have come out in support of the referendum and they've kicked off a collection of signatures saying that they are in fully in support of the referendum and in particular they want Article 11 of the Constitution amended so that elders, community elders, can have their roles defined, uh, for example, in matters of dispute resolution and in some aspects of culture. They also are uh, reaching out to President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto to at least uh, try and uh, listen to every Kenyan, that every Kenyan has a democratic right to support either the referendum, those who are for it or against it. Take a look. Hizi kama wazee wa embu, tukakachini, tukaangaria, tukaona abadhari tuunge referenda mumukono. Now, that's quite interesting considering that this is, of course, a jubilee stronghold. But another interesting story, and this, this one absolutely touched my heart, a group of schoolgirls are doing something very, very special, aren't they, in Muranga? Yes, Nancy, uh, we've seen the philanthropic spirit of students of Getuge Secondary School in Mathioya, that is in Moranga County, who have come out in support of one of their own. They're raising funds to help 17-year-old Stella Wangoya, Form 3 student who is suffering from acute kidney failure. And it has been hard on the family emotionally and financially, and so the students have said that they can try and help collect funds and raise funds for Stella, who has been in hospital, uh, you know, more than she has been in class. So this is also affecting her studies but at least uh, being students of course they do not have much money but they know that if they marshal uh, support and they stick together then they might be able to raise funds for Stella who needs an uh, urgent uh, kidney transplant both kidneys are not working as they should so they're raising money for that Sorted and the parents told us that they are still uh, trying to see the diagnosis which they found was a problem with the kidney and now since that time uh, she has been on and off uh, mainly now it reached a point whereby she has to go for dialysis at least twice a week making it very difficult for her to continue with her running Wow, that is such an inspiring story. Those are definitely the kind of friends you need to have. Very, very inspiring. Schoolgirls are actually doing this. Also, let's move now to Nyeri. What are the teachers saying about the upcoming strike? Yes, Nancy and Mburu, the teachers in Nyeri through the Secretary General of NAT, the Nyeri branch, Mutahi Kahiga, insist that they will not relent and will continue with the strike. Remember that they issued a notice on the 26th of August intending to go on strike. Have, uh, and they listed uh, 37 grievances amongst them, commuter allowances and risk allowances for science teachers, amongst other complaints. And they said it is time the government took them seriously because they're tired of, you know, uh, going for strikes in and out and always trying to plead their case to the government. So the teachers in Nyeri say that they will join their colleagues in the other 46 counties of Kenya and they will go on with the strike. But on the same breath, the, the other member of parliament, Mary Wamboy, asked the teachers to at least try and be patient and try use diplomatic means because this is that time when students sit for their national examinations. Could they try and be patient and maybe see if the government will listen to their cries? But the teachers in Nyeri say that they are ready to roll their sleeves and go for strike. Have a we are reminding government that currently there is a hype for more money. We have seen how MCAs are behaving. We haven't demanded for cars ourselves. We have seen how the, the senators are also behaving. They, they are demanding more money. The MPs, we learned last night that most of them are taking five million home for doing nothing except walking around parliament. It is important that we say here that the 200 going to 300,000 teachers of this county, of this country, who are pushing 
the future of this nation who are whose future whose Kenya's future is in their hands need to be listened to wacha nimwambie mambo ya kweli kwa sababu iko watu wengine wataka ku insight na hii insight me ndio hatutaki na nataka kuambia walimu wa Kenya wacha wakae na serikali wasugumuze na hii maneno ile itapatikana ikipatikana mkata kidogo tukule hiyo kidogo lakini kusema all right, thank you very much, Carol, for joining us this evening on KTN Prime and bringing us up to speed with what's happening in that region. Have a good night.